How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again, doing a video today which I've never actually done before. As you all know, every update I do a video talking about all the new cars that are going to be added and occasionally I do a tutorial on how to get some of the specific cars that are more exciting. And it kind of annoys me that I don't cover all of the new cars. So what we're going to do in today's video is I have unlocked all eight of the brand new cars this month or this week even. So what I've done is I have unlocked all eight of the new cars that we've been given this month, some of which have only been available from today. And what we're going to do, we're going to fully upgrade them all and see what all eight of the new cars are like. And quite a few of them are supercars and quite fast, beefy cars as well. Just quickly before we get into today's video, I want to plug something else that I've been working on recently. I know that money on YouTube is quite a sensitive topic. I don't personally mind it. So what I've done is I've made a second channel called Finance 101 and on this channel I'm going to talk all about money. I'm going to do videos on how you can make money on YouTube, the best way to make money on YouTube and on that channel I'm also going to show you how much money you do make from videos including how much money I have made on YouTube. I'm literally going to show you on that channel. It's got one video on the moment, that is how much money you make from 50,000 views. There's many more to come, such as how much money you make from 10 million views. Give that channel a sub, there may be some giveaways in the future, but if you're interested in money, if you're interested in seeing how much YouTubers make, I'm literally going to show you. I tell you what, if you show me proof on Twitter that you subscribe to my second channel, I'll subscribe to you, why not? Anyway, let's get into today's video. So here we go, here are, right here, these are all of the eight new cars. We've got the Chevrolet Impala Super Sport, the Ford Raptor Ranger, the Jeep Wrangler Unlimited De Berti, Designate Design, that's it, the Koenigsegg CCX and the McLaren 12C Coupe, the G60, the uh, six-wheeler thing, whatever, the six-wheeler thing, the Top Gear Tractor, and the Mercedes-Benz E350D 4Matic All-Terrain Project E-AT. e, -at. e -at. So I'm literally going to jump straight into it. First of all, I want to fully upgrade the McLaren. Now, this one I had to buy off the auction house, so let me just quickly unmodify that. We're literally just going to fly through all of these in this video. Uh, we don't need any of those engine swaps, obviously. We'll keep it rear-wheel drive, and I'll just fully upgrade everything. Here we go. One thing I am hoping about this is that it has its own engine sound. Not getting my hopes up though, knowing what Fours is like. There we go, 906 horsepower. I'm keeping the default engine in all of these vehicles as well, just because we don't want to be doing any engine swapping. There we go. No, it's got exactly the same engine sound as before. I mean, it's not a bad engine sound, to be honest, it sounds all right. And it looks quite nice. It's one of my favorite McLarens, to be honest, when it comes to looks. It just looks really nice. The colour's nice. And for 900 horsepower, it's actually pretty nippy, to be honest with you. Boom! Doing the mini up the bum hole. So the McLaren 12C can have 905 horsepower. It's probably going to be one of the highest horsepower cars on this list fully upgraded, I reckon. Tell you what, it handles like a beast, though. I'll give it that. Oh, yes. Wicked. We're just going to jump straight to the next one now. We're going to waste no time whatsoever because we need to get through all eight cars here. Next up is the track tour. This was available from week one, I believe. Ah, oh, we've got to engine swap this one. This is an exception. This was available from week one, but we'll just quickly full upgrade it and then give it a blast. 1,400 horsepower. No way has this got more than the Koenigsegg. Oh, that's pathetic for 1,400 horsepower. Come on. Oh my god, that turning is ridiculous. Come on, turn. This does not feel like 1400 horsepower. I do like the exhaust pipe locations though. Not seen something like that before. I can't see the spoilers in the way. And it handles like a slug. Get out of my way. I mean, it's pretty fast. I mean, it's doing 140 miles an hour, which is, uh, you know, nothing to... I could really be doing tests here, like testing the top speed of all these cars, but... No real point to it. Right, next one. Let's get the Koenigsegg out of the way. That's already fully upgraded. I've already played with this before. And I just want you to have a listen to the Koenigsegg because I don't know what it is about this CCX, but it sounds really good. Let's go to a tunnel and see what it sounds like through the tunnel. We've already played with this one, so we're not going to stay in it for too long. I 
Oh, that's so nice. It sounds so deep, sounds so raw. And the whining as well is just perfectly, perfectly tuned. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, 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 Jeep Wrangler. I've already lost count of which one we're on. Is this the fourth one? Third one? Oh, I don't know. Not going to lie, I bet you can upgrade this to be a right monster. We don't want the V8 in it. It's plenty at the moment. Just under 1,200 horsepower. Wow. These are some high horsepower cars. Whoa! That's very bouncy, but I like that. I bet you can make a jelly tune from this easily. What's it like off-road? Look at the travel on those wheels. That is incredible. You can go over mountains in this thing. Look at that! Of course the wall slows us down. It's just incredible how much the wheels bounce. Bouncing all over the place. It's got its own little phone holder. It's got two phone holders. Oh, meanwhile, I crashed into a mini. Sorry. Oh, my little wheel! Can we go up the hill? No, we can't. We're crashing into a pole. Nice one. Hmm, we've got these two left. Let's do the Raptor. Get that out of the way. That's already fully upgraded. I think it's got an engine swap as well, so sorry. Oh, messed up my gears then. Sorry. I mean, it's nice. It's basically what Nick owns, AR12 Nick. Speaking of Nick, anybody want to see the most cursed image of all time? You ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Oh yeah. Okay, look. I'm Raymond. I crash into a ditch. In Nick's car. Anyway, that's not very interesting. Let's go to the other new cars. We've still got three more new cars to go that have been added. Let's go to the 6x6. We've got to go into that. That is an all-time favourite. Put V8s in it. I don't really need to engine swap this thing. I'm just going to max it out. Ooh, it may drop 900 horsepower. Yeah. 900. Oh, no. 892. Tell a lie. Wow, these are some high horsepower cars. I didn't think they'd be this high. Oh, the Nauta 6 ton, that's pretty impressive considering it weighs about 5 tonnes. God, can you imagine parking one of these? Look at the size difference. It's basically two car lengths. That's a good point. Where would you park that in a car park? I'm going to have to Google that. If I find any images online, I'll put them on the screen of this car parked at Tesco or something. I mean, it's nice to drive, though. It's a proper beast off-road. Just like the uh, the Wrangler. Wrangly Wangly Wangler. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. <clears throat> Move. Oh, I cleaned it. Oh, cleaned myself out then. Well, next one. Do apologise if we're flying through these cars too quickly, but we've got loads of new cars here to drive. I think we've got two left. I'm looking forward to this one because I'm just going to go mad on the upgrades of this one. Let's have a look at the E350D. Oh, I'm not even going to bother pronouncing it. Pretty slow. Pretty boring. Quite fancy. Quite fast. Quite big. Probably quite heavy. And quite expensive. Pretty slow, actually. 115, is that it? Come on, faster. I know I said I'll fully upgrade them all, but... Is there any point fully upgrading this thing? I don't know. Let's crash into a van instead. Okay, we've got the last one here that we've not looked at, and that's the Chevrolet. Now, I don't want to engine swap this, but I am going to keep it rear-wheel drive and make it into an absolute wheel-spin monster. That is the smallest wing I have ever seen. Let's buy it anyway. Where's the skirts? Oh. Okay, then. We're a policeman. We are the Popo. Oh, yeah. Got to get a good old policeman design on there. With a popo. Put it on the other side. Oh, it's opposite. Oh, I can't be asked to change it. 
By the way, it has 700 horsepower for anyone interested. 700 horsepower, yep. Oh yes, oh that's a nice engine sound. And it's stock. I love that design. Po po. You just have to look at it from this side though, not that side. <laughs> it looks massive. Look at the amount of room inside. That looks. I didn't realise that. I suppose it is an American car, so it's probably going to be quite large, isn't it? I was expecting this one to be pretty boring, but it's actually pretty fun. Look at the steering wheel. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. It's like a dinner plate. <laughs> This is the eighth car, I believe, isn't it? Let me have a look at the list. Yes, we had a look at that, we had a look at that, it's a bit boring, that was fun, that was fast, that was fast but sounded rubbish, that was fun, that was weird, that was fun. Yeah, all eight cars, there you go. So if you played Forza this month, you probably had a chance to get at least some of these cars. All eight of these were brand new to the game. Um, just a few weeks ago and today we got access to the last one which was the jeep wrangler i believe as you all know on monday this upcoming week so in a few days we will have the next update day where we hear about the next bunch of new cars and if this video does well enough i'll do this again at the end of the month because why not but anyway ladies let's not leave it on for too long thank you very much for watching guys make sure you check out that other channel i mentioned in the description below Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. What am I doing? And I'll see you all later.